guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for a bit of a play today. This is not my idea. This is Gail Tuthill. So Gail has got a YouTube channel. Um, I think she only started her channel quite recently, but she's always kind of a big presence um, on YouTube and she, you know, she comments on lots of people's videos and things. But she made a comment on one of my videos recently where she said that she uses, you know, the napkins that you get at kind of like, um, you know, functions and things. They're just like the brownie colour napkins. Um, she said that she often prints out onto those in black and white. And she said how incredibly vintage they look. And I just thought, wow, what a fantastic idea. So what I did, obviously, you know, I didn't have any napkins of that sort of colour. So I ordered some napkins from eBay and I ordered some, they were ivory, you can't really see probably, it probably looks like it's white but it actually is ivory. So I got some ivory napkin and then I got some, it was called brown, it's a kind of beige colour, it's not the colour of those napkins that you get at a function. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't seem to find that sort of shade of napkin, so this was like the closest to it. But I also thought that what would be quite a nice colour was possibly, you know, like a turquoisey type colour. Um, so obviously I have only just printed these napkins, I just printed them and I also printed one more in greyscale rather than black and white. So all of these ones... I've just converted some of my um, digis into black and white images. Um, but this one, I didn't convert it into black and white. I've printed it in, I think it was grayscale. Um, yeah, I think that's what I used. So we'll just have a play and see what kinds of effects that we can, you know, come up with really. As I say, not my idea. So Gail, if you stumble across this video, awesome idea and yeah as soon as I read your comments I thought wow genius what a fantastic idea and I could just picture how vintage those things would look so let's just you know move them out the way and start sort of one at a time and then we'll see how we can get on or how we get on now I'm running very low on my Mod Podge so we'll have to see again how we get on and you know might have to move over to glue stick if we do several but I thought that I would just do these paper bags. So these are just some paper bags that I bought a while back. Now, I do sometimes um, coffee dye these. These ones haven't been coffee dyed, as you can see. They are just naked, you know, in their normal, <laughs> as, as they came, um, self. But I thought these would be quite an ideal, um, you know, starting point to see how this, um, you know, how it looks. So all I'm going to do is literally... Mod Podge it onto some of the bags and we'll just see, you know, the, the effects that we get with the different coloured napkins. So I'm going to just pour some. Now this Mod Podge has been watered down. Um, I don't have a sort of precise watering down method. I just, you know, very much wing it and hope for the best really. So just go like that Oops. okay and then just pop my napkin on now I'm looking around for my acetate which I bought along and now I can't find where it's gone so hold on a moment right I've got my acetate here now I do really like to try and keep my hands away from the the napkin as much as I can because um you know I am quite heavy-handed and I do sometimes tear the napkin so that's that one now I'm just going to put that to one side whilst we do a couple of the other colors so we'll try the ivory next and again I should have bought along a bigger brush really but never mind We'll make do with this one. Oops. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Screwing the bag up before I even get started. So, I mean, obviously different patterns are going to, you know, work differently. But I just thought, wow, what a brilliant idea to use those just plain coloured napkins. Okay. 
Okay. So just decide which, probably this section here. Again, just pop my acetate over. I mean, that's just my thing is, you know, the less contact I have really whilst the napkin's wet, the better really. Um, just because, you know, sometimes I do sort of tear the napkin a bit. Okay, again, I'll just put that out of the way to dry. And then we'll just do the final one and we will do this obviously in the blue. So I might have to pour a little bit more of the Mod Podge out. Not a very nice day here today. It's it's raining. But to be fair, it's the first day it's rained for ages. So um, yeah, can't really complain too much, but it's quite gray and dark. So um, got all the lights on and things. So hopefully the, um, oh, hopefully the vision's okay. Right, flicked my, <laughs> flicked my book around, uh, book, not book, my, Oh, bag around a bit. Never mind. Right. So let's press that down. Yeah, I just thought the blue would maybe look awesome. It might look rubbish. We'll see. So I'm just going to pop that to one side to dry as well. And we will try one with the more the grayscale and see how that comes out. So... You know, we're just having a bit of fun here and seeing what the different, um, you know, the different colours and patterns come out like. So, again, just paint that on. Okay. Got a couple of lumpy bits of um, Mod Podge there, but never mind. Right, we'll go for, try and go for that piece there. Okie dokie. Now, obviously in an ideal world, we probably would have left that to dry for longer. Um, but obviously because I'm doing a video, you know, I'm just going to put them to the side for a few minutes. But what I might do is just cut around this. Well, actually, I probably prefer to tear if I can. Oops, this is where it would be better if it was a bit drier. So I'll just tear that down. Oh, come on. Okay. And then the top part, I'm probably going to cut the bag anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. So I'll just pop that to one side. And what I thought also I would try is um, I would try doing the glue stick technique and just see what, you know, what we prefer really from the two techniques. So I've got my glue stick here. So again, we'll just go all, oops, all the way over the bag. Oh, come on, stay still. Just moving around everywhere. Okay. And then I'm going to go for the, this sort of section, I think. And interestingly, when using the glue stick, obviously that napkin's not saturated, so I'm okay to touch that with my human hands instead of the acetate. So, um, yeah, I'm less, you know, it seems less teary because it's not, I guess, all soggy, you know. So we'll just do one of those with this ivory napkin as well. This one's very soggy, I have to say. Oops. And obviously I'm going to tidy these up in a moment, but we'll just, you know, just for the moment, we'll just do it like this and um, not worry too much if they're looking a little bit shabby and um, raggedy. Right, I'll move the acetate out of the way so I've got less stuff on my desk for you all to be having to look at. So again, just glue stick all over the bag. Oh, 
Now this was that blue Yoohoo glue, you know, the blue one where you're supposed to be able to see where you've glued and where you haven't and then it dries clear. So this was the blue one. I've had it for a little while and it's now white. No blue in sight. It's just turned to white. So that obviously happens once you've had it for a while. I mean, I wouldn't say I've had it that long, but clearly long enough. So I'll just press that down like that. Oops. Okie dokie, and we'll just move that out of the way. I mean, obviously the nice thing is using the glue stick, you know, they're not soggy. So I'm not sort of having to wait endlessly for it to dry as such. So again, we'll just tear around here. I think I'm making a great job of tearing. Okay, oops. Obviously hadn't glued that very well on there. Um, so we do this one in the blue. Okay. Like that. Oops, like that. And then oops. trying to just hold the bag in place, but not wipe the glue off. And the good thing is with these napkins is obviously, you know, they're super cheap because they're just those plain, plain old napkins. I mean, I think they were like a pack of 20 for uh, one thirty nine or something, pound thirty nine. So really, really, really cheap, um, you know, which is great. So, yeah, thank you so much, Gail. I just couldn't wait to try it. When I read your comment, I just thought, oh, genius, you know, what a fantastic idea. So I literally couldn't wait. Okay, let me just check which section I'm going to use for this more grayscale one. So again, I might just use that section there, or I guess I could have it sideways, more, more like that maybe. Is that more interesting? Yeah, I might have it sideways. So we just then ink that up. Ink it up, glue glue it up. I don't know if there's such expression as glue it up really, but that's what we'll do. Oops. Okie dokie. And we said we were going to go sideways, didn't we, here? So, must remember what I actually, you know, what my plan was. So we're going to go sideways like that. Okay. It's really too short. It's sort of glued down with the glue stick. I've only ever used the glue stick for the decoupage a couple of times. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not that comfortable with it yet. Okay, right. Now, I can't remember which one I did first, so that's obviously not great. I should have kind of probably made a a bit more of a mental note of which way I did them so that I could then try and do them somehow in order, you know, of what should be the driest one. But I think it might have been this one first. So I'm just tearing off the rest of that that napkin around it. Now, I don't want it really, really neat, so... I quite like the torn the torn edges. Now I'm just going to keep the Mod Podge here because I might Mod Podge over this in a minute because at the moment it's got the slightly furry feel of like a napkin. I mean I know they're not furry but you know what I mean. The slightly napkin, napkin feel and I don't know whether I necessarily want that or not. And then I'm just going to trim the top of my bag down so let me find some of my decorative scissors and we'll just chop that across the top okay and we'll just ink this up so if your napkin's sort of peeling away anywhere which you can probably see mine is peeling away a little bit at the sides or on the corners you know 
that's where I think I will go over this with the Mod Podge and then it will seal it all down nicely. So we'll just ink around it and then we'll sort of seal it down. So here, where it's peeling right up, I'm just going to sort of ink that, that bag up and then hopefully, and I don't mind, you know, if that's a bit scraggedy at that corner because that just makes it look a little bit more vintage you know than it even did so again let me just pour a bit more a bit more mod podge out and then just try and glue that piece down there and then go over the whole thing so more waiting for it to dry now okay oops Okie dokie. I don't know whether I've got the whole of that or not now. Oh well. Hopefully I have. Okay. So, let's just peel that. Peel any of those blob type bits of glue off. Okay. So that's that one. Have I? I don't know whether, sorry, I don't know whether I've actually got it here. That just looked a little bit plain there, so I'll just go over that with some Mod Podge. Right. Okay, so that's that one. So I, again, I'm going to just leave that to dry. So we'll pull in our um, ivory looking coloured one. And again, I'm just going to tear off a bit closer to the bag because it just had a bit bit too much overhanging around the edge. Oops. It's just sticking on me now. Oh well, never mind. Right. So again, I'll just ink this up. Oh, I'm loving the ivory, I must say. Yeah, it looks really nice in the ivory. Oh, I love how that looks. And this one, I might not mod podge over the over the top. Ooh, I think I stuck it to the back. Oh, I might have to cut the the bag down because I sort of stuck it onto the onto the back of it. Can I separate it? Probably not. Oh, isn't it just annoying when you do things like that? I wonder if I can use my my like pokey tool thing to separate that. Okay. Well, it's a little bit tatty, but I mean, I don't mind that to be honest. So I just ink up the top of that bag. Oh, that's definitely definitely my favorite out of well out of the two that I've done so far yeah I love how that looks right so again I'm just going to leave that to dry so now we'll just pull in that blue one and again we'll just you know tear around that slightly closer to the bag like that Okay, okay. And just come in here like that. Okay. So, I mean, I picked the blue, you know, when I bought the napkins because I just thought that the blue would ink up really vintagey looking. But I mean, obviously, I don't know, and you know, I haven't used the the napkins before. So, um, yeah, this this technique or the napkins before, so I don't know how it will look, but. I'm hoping it's going to look really vintage, but we'll see. I mean, I have to say it was a bit brighter in the flesh than it looked in the picture when it arrived. I mean, that's the problem, isn't it? If you don't really see things in the flesh, you don't really know how they're going to look until they arrive to you. 
me just again use my pokey tool because that seemed to work quite well. Okay, just ink up the back of the bag. Okay, do we want to Mod Podge over that or shall we leave it? Let's Mod Podge over that one. I don't know really what's determining whether I do or I don't, but for some reason this one's calling to me that it wants to be it wants to be coated, so I'll just coat it. Okay. Yeah, I think that rain has set in for the day because I can just hear it, you know really coming down and I don't think it's stopped so far all day it's pretty much been going all morning okay right that's that one so again let me just pop that to one side whilst we wait for it to dry and we'll just go along that again with my with my pokey tool because otherwise I've already mod podged it back down after separating it so what a wally so <laughs> just move that to one side uh the next one was this one. Sorry, I lost track again of which which way I'd done them. I thought that these were going to be my favourite, these beige type coloured ones. But yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving the ivory. I mean, I guess really the ivory is the closest to the colour of the ones that you get once it's inked up anyway you know the ones that you get at those sort of events okay so again we'll just go around here with the ink Okie dokie, and in the corners, lots and lots, whoops. Okay. So I might not um, mod podge this one, but I'm just going to stick that corner down, because that was just coming up a bit. I'll just see whether it needs a little spot more here, just in that corner. Okay. okay, so that's that one. So that's that one out of the way. Now bring back in the uh, glue stick ones. I mean, to be fair, you don't have to tear these either. You could obviously cut these around the bag. Perhaps I should, perhaps I should do the next one cut around so that we can see the difference. Right now, this one because I have done it with the glue stick, and this is always my fear with the glue stick. You see, I don't feel it's really glued down very well, and it obviously didn't because here I've just got a gap of the bag. If you see what I mean. But, I mean, that's fine, actually. It maybe will look better with just being partially, you know, partially napkined rather than the whole of it. So, you know, again, it's just about experimenting, really, and seeing, seeing what look you like best, really. Let me just ink that up. Okay. And just go in there. So that's that one. Did I glue that one shut? Probably did. Okay. But because it's the glue stick, it's not really closed. Not really um, stuck shut at all. Right. Okay. So. go for this one okay so this one let's let's cut this down I'm 
Oh gosh, I've probably cut the bag open now. I thought, oh, let's get nice and close, look. <laughs> let's get really close and actually cut the whole bag. Cut the whole bag open. Honestly, what a body. I thought, wow, I'm really close to that edge. I didn't realise, obviously, I was that close, but, yep. Yep, we were really close. So, in fact, I'll glue it shut again in a moment, but let's just... Let's just ink it up first, because if I glue it shut, then I'm going to have bits of glue that will be picking up, you know, the ink. So, right. Okay. Now this one, I had run out of double-sided tape, interestingly, when I printed these napkins, which was how I adhered the napkins to the sheet of paper to put them through the printer last time. So this time I used sellotape, so I've still got a titchy bit of sellotape on there, which probably the camera's not picking it up, but I was going to obviously peel that off, but strangely enough, I actually quite like it on there. It looks quite vintagey. so what I might do is take my, my stays on and just... Oh, it didn't really work. Funnily enough, that stays on, stamps on, or goes on everything. But it didn't really want to go on the, on there. But now I've got, now I've got a big brown patch there. So now I feel I have to, have to smear it in and have some brown elsewhere around. Otherwise it's not really kind of, you know, it just seemed to have a brown patch from nowhere. So I'll just... I just brown some other bits up. Ugh, now I'm going to have stays on, obviously stuck on my fingers for goodness knows how long. Okay, well, I mean, not conventional methods, obviously, but, you know, who cares? Right, so what I'm going to do now is take my fine liner glue, obviously glue that bag down along the edge. So just glue that back together. Yeah, even when I was cutting it, I thought, wow, I'm really close to that edge. But I thought maybe I was missing it. You know, close but missing. But no, I was, I was close and, in fact, on the edge. Right, can't now get my glue back into that little pin. Oh, gosh, what is going on? Oh, right, I've got my glasses today on my head. So just pull them down, hopefully help me see what I'm doing a bit better. Oh gosh. No, for some reason I still can't now get that popped on. What on earth? Okay. <laughs> right. Again, how not to craft. Okay. Well, to be honest, I still really like that, even though I've, you know, put all that brown all over it now. So let's do, quickly, before I cut those other ones, let's do one where we just have a little bit of napkin. Or maybe we'll do a couple where we just have a little bit of napkin. So, for instance, here, I just happen to have that piece left. So let's just pop that on. Let's just use the glue stick, shall we? Again, who knows how this is going to go, but... Uh, let's see, let's see. So just pop that on. Don't know whether I've actually adhered that down properly or not. Probably not. Okay. Okay, so that's that. And then should we have a bit more? So we could just have maybe this section here. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe there. So again, let's pop some more glue stick down. Oh, 
Oh gosh, I think I've I think I've missed where I put the glue stick completely by the by the feel of things. Oh. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one, let's do take the oops. Take this one. Mm. Well, I might as well just use this piece here because, you know, this is just kind of left over. So, these aren't grease proof bags or anything, they're just little paper bags. I, I bought a whole bunch of them, but they coffee dye lovely, you know, really beautifully. And um, yeah, I've had them for quite a long time. I got mine from like a food, um, you know, cash and carry type place, but I'm pretty sure you could probably just get them on eBay or something. But yeah, I mean, they're not a glassine bag or anything, but to be honest, you know, they're still, they're still pretty nice, I think, to use. So, right. And you don't always want the same thing, do you? So, you know, the glassine bags, I absolutely love them, but you don't want everything being the same thing, do you? So, right, okay. Let's just tear that off across the top. And again, we'll just keep it nice and scruffy, I think. Just going to trim it off at the bottom. I'm going to try not to cut the bag open this time. Okay. Right, let's ink these up and then let's decorate a couple of bags up shall we and see how they look so yeah i don't know whether gail's actually ever done this on her channel but definitely this is where the idea came from or she you know she is the person who gave me the idea so i will link her channel below um I will try and remember to link her channel below, I should say, because I'm really shocking at, you know, forgetting that. If I don't link it, please just jog me, you know, and I will do that. But it would just be her channel, I think, because I'm not sure she's got videos of doing this. Okay, and then this one. And again, I'm only inking the front and decorating the front because I would probably glue these down, to be honest. So... Obviously, you know, you could do both sides if you were just having them pinned in. Or you could just ink up the back and, you know, move them around if you just, you know, didn't want them too decorated up. Like, you know, if we do this one, for instance, we could just, just ink it up on both sides. And that way, if it's then moving around in your book, you could leave the back to journal on. But it still looks nice and vintage so like that okay so let's decorate a couple up all right move the Mod Podge out of the way so that we've got a bit more space on here right let's have a look and see what we've got that we can pop on so I've still got my little um pouch filled with things from my masterboard you know um collage scrapbook so i'll just pull that in because obviously then hopefully hopefully i've got something i can pick and i won't be here all day trying to find something so i might have one of my numbers on there thank you so much everyone who has used my numbers and um is enjoying using them i mean oh i can't tell you how much that means to me it's just so nice if you've made something that people really like because I mean of course you know when you make things you hope that people are going to like them so yeah I'm so thrilled that you know that people do seem to like them so thank you so much to everybody who has bought them and has used them I really appreciate it and I'm so chuffed that you know that people like them so thank you very much right just ink that up. 
I don't know whether that bird is quite right on there. I've got to be, got to be honest. So, mm -hmm. might prefer like a coloured piece on here. So, let's just bring this one in. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that. So let's just pop that number. Oh, come on. You've had the lid on the whole night, so there should be no problems here with the glue. Well, let me just, let me just use my fine line. Oops, hang on. No. Nope. I was obviously screwing it the wrong way. Okay, right. Back in action. Back in action, everybody. Right. I mean, the other thing is this fine line glue, it's really great for... Um, you know, not being so extravagant on the use of glue because sometimes, obviously, you know, I do find that you end up using a lot more glue than is needed. So that's a really good way to cut down. Now, do we want a little piece of lace behind here? I've still got my glasses on which I think then they're um, hampering my, my efforts now. Okay. So this one, I just happened to have this glued down ready for something else I was originally using it for and then obviously didn't get around to it. So I just thought I would try this color before going for that one. So again, let's just ink that up. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Yeah, I think I do prefer that. Now, just before I glue that down, I might also just, just do a little bit of stamping in the background. So again, I mean, I might just do a bit of, a bit of just script, I think, just on the bag itself. We'll just glue this one down. We have a little piece of lace somewhere on there. So, oops. Again, I might just ink this up. Oops. Yeah, it's really raining. Can you hear that? It's just, um, just in for the day, I can just tell. <laughs> I think we'll have the lace down there. That looks really pretty then. So again, I'm just going to, I think I'll just hot glue that on. Okie dokie. Okay. So really, really pretty, isn't it? So that's that one. I hope that corner's stuck down okay. Right, that's that one. Let's do another one. So let's do the the one, actually, yeah, that's the one that I had to re-glue the bag. So the one I really mucked up. 
quite like that I think with the bird I, I want to use the bird really because he's kind of cute isn't he so again I might just pop in a number or something maybe even a black one And this is a tinier, you know, um, smaller size. So maybe just like that. So again, we'll just glue that down. Oh, look at my fingers. Oh, messy, messy. Okay, and might just have a little bit of doily on this one. So I'll just tear that down a bit. Yeah, so I'm going to pop the doily down with my, my glue stick. Okay, get rid of any excess glue from there and then just pop my little bird on there. Okie dokie. Pop that one on. Again, do we want to just finish that off with a bit of lace somewhere? Everything's always better, isn't it, with a little bit of lace. So might just put a tiny piece on. I'm going to put it there, I think, covering up that big brown splodge where I um, obviously went a bit overboard with the brown stays on that I thought, oh, I'll just distress it with that. <laughs> Oops, now pulling the napkin in. Oh, just, yep. Back to my usual disasters everywhere. Okay, so that's that one. You could even have another number. I wonder if I've got another, another tiny one just because this is not like my pouch of numbers this is just my pouch that I used for taking down stairs with my scrapbook so it might be an overdose of numbers but let's just try you know might just be like one number too many worth having a look isn't it you don't know if you don't try so get rid of those bits oh let's just have that there shall we it's always a bit more fun isn't it to have more stuff more stuff on there than less Okay, just dab that up and then do we want a bit of bling on this one? That might be just what we need. And just chop a little bit off. Have that there or there? Have it there. Okie dokie, so that's that one. Right, let's do a blue one. So I think the blue one, we've only done this one so far. We didn't tear out the other one as yet. So, right, I'm not sure where I'm going with this blue one, to be honest. So let's just see. I'm going to trim off those edge pieces on this. 
Yeah, like that, I think. Right, what are we going to have on the blue one? Hmm, decisions, decisions. I have got those birds. They're obviously, you know, this is very grungy now. These birds are not grungy. I could try and grunge them up. Is that too much blue? Do we need something not blue to um, to mix it up with? Because sometimes it can be a bit too samey samey, can't it? You know, a bit too much the same. That's not right either. Now you would have thought that I could find something in amongst all this, wouldn't you? ink this one up and see how this one might look. Mm -hmm. Not feeling that for some reason. I can see what else I've got. I've got her she looks better on there, I think, doesn't she? Yeah, I much prefer her, I think. So she's just a stamp. Um, some stamps that I got from the Wish app quite some time ago now. But they're lovely stamps. So perhaps we'll have her, do we want like a domino or something poking out? Again, just ink that up. Maybe a little number. Oh, come on. Got that number three. I want a number in quite small size. So, yeah, maybe the number three. Got a little Martha Stewart butterfly. That was also just floating in that bag. Right, let's just got uh, start gluing things down. So I'm just going to glue that domino down. that there and just pop her down she's been printed in uh, not printed sorry stamped in brown she actually looks quite pale so I would have thought oh, I would have thought I stamped her with my uh, timber brown stays on but she looks a bit pale for that unless I'd stamped you know a couple of times by this point and the ink was wearing off the stamp, I don't know. As I say, she's been just hovering around in my stash for a long time. So I can't really remember, you know, back then, how she was stamped. Right. I think I'll have it that way around. So let's put that number up there. And then we we'll just put our butterfly on. Like that. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, I like how that looks. And then should we have a little bit of lace at the bottom? Yeah. I think we will. Just again, just ink up a little bit. at the top on this one. Right. Mm. Oh, let's put the lace at the top. Let's just be adventurous and mix it up. Okay. Oops. Okie dokie. So that's that one. And then just undo that where I've glued it together then. 
And then do we want a little bit of bling on there? Oops, it's just stuck on my fingers with the glue threads, I'm afraid, so. Okay. She's quite stiff on there because she was stamped onto quite thickish card, but and these are quite thin bags, so she probably would have been better just stamped onto paper, really, rather than card. But I mean, obviously, I didn't stamp her for this project, so you know, I didn't know what she was going to be going on. But yeah, anyway, she's fine. She's fine. Okay, so that's those. So that's probably enough for today. I don't know how long I've been filming for because where I have obviously stopped the video a couple of times, I've sort of lost track, I'm afraid. So yeah, I had best stop there because I don't know honestly how long it's been going on for. But um, I hope that you um, liked that little project. I mean, I definitely think what an awesome idea. So thank you so much, Gail. Um, I shall, yeah, have a bit more of a play, I think, with with the plain napkins because they really are a nice effect. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. And I hope you have fun if you do some. And hopefully see you again soon. Thanks, Em. Bye. <laughs>